What's good everyone? Jordan M here. It's been a while since I've done my last review and it was with my friend Bakor on the quest too. Check out his channel. He's actually really funny. Anyways, uh, let's start, shall we? So for the VR community, most of us know about full body tracking, the coveted next step in immersion into virtual reality. However, the only real way to get full body was buying trackers from HTC and those are expensive as hell. And that's not even all. You also need base stations for those trackers. And if you didn't get a Valve Index or an HTC Vive like me, who got a Quest 2, that's a lot of extra money to get base stations and trackers. All right. So let's do this. Let's start with the trackers first. We got 130 times three. Okay. And then, and then, and then. How much are the, how much are the, uh, the buy trackers again? 149? All right, let's do 150. Plus 150 times two. We need at least two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I must have done something wrong. Times three. That's 390. Okay. And then 150 times two 390 plus 300 what the fuck? there have been other developers and programmers that have tried to make full body a thing without base stations though they aren't the best cat loco s has a mocap mode which is supposed to be full body tracking but uh just see for yourself walk ovr also has a mocap type of thing going on but it's kind of the same situation as Cat Local S. It's very not good. And Slime VR and Stonks don't exist. But now, thankfully, though, we have the Hardware X, which is a full body tracking solution that uses Bluetooth connection instead of base stations. Haritor X uses IMU and geomagnetic sensors to calculate the positions of the trackers and then translate that into VR. It's actually a really cool concept and it worked better than I assumed. So these are the Haritor X trackers. Yeah, it's a lot. Despite the wires and straps making me look like I'm ready for a BDSM party, it was actually really simple to set up and very easy to move around in. I pretty much didn't notice them after I put the entire thing on. I just need to put them on. I'm trying. Any day now, Jordan. Okay, okay. Bro, what's taking so long? Hello? Jesus, it's so easy. Oh, it's so easy. Why don't you do it? Well, I'm editing. I'm the editing, Jordan M. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the uh, B-roll, Jordan M. That's not my job. If, if oh, anything, that's her. Okay. Well, well, that's just rude. And that hurt my feelings. That's why the left ankle is on upside down, bitch. And then once I have that done, I and I've turned on the Haritora X. I launched Steam VR, and through Steam VR, I now launched the Haritora Configurator, which you download when you check the manual while setting everything up. You then install the drivers needed for Steam VR, and the trackers will appear in, you know, Steam VR. I'm a dumbass, so I actually forgot to turn on the Hari Tora while I was, um, doing the video. So, uh, I was sitting there for a hot minute wondering why the Bluetooth section wasn't green. But once I fixed that, I went to Calibrate, which is a standing still in two positions for eight seconds total, and the trackers work just like that. I launch VR chat and I calibrate my FBT and voila! Here's my first ever reaction to full body, by the way. Oh my god, wait. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, my legs actually work. What? That's so wild. In my first two weeks messing with the trackers, they've actually been really fun to use. Of course, it looks choppy in movement due to it going through the configurator, but overall, as my first FBT experience, I'm still amazed by it, and I still am currently. I can do pretty much everything I wanted to ever since uh, I got the Quest 2. I mean, I was actually doing them in real life, but people couldn't see that since they can only see half my body move. Nah, I can't do that one. <laughs> that one hurts my hands. Nah, how do, how do people do that in VR? Oh no, that hurts. No, 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 I'm cool. Here come the cons, however. So, because they don't use base stations to track, they are susceptible to drift. What that means is that the trackers will sometimes eventually lose position of where you actually are. 
This can be counteracted though by quickly recalibrating by pressing the trigger on either of your controllers five times in the same positions I mentioned earlier when you first calibrated and they'll fix right up. It's a really quick way to fix yourself and it will happen so be sure to memorize what to do when your hip tracker is suddenly a few degrees off or you may notice that your legs are a bit crossed whenever you sit, whenever you stand still. And sit still actually too. Yeah, that, will, that, that that's also a thing that I noticed. Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, there's my chair. Ow. Overall, I say that the Hari Tor X is a really good buy. And what makes it better is that it's available. Well, mostly. The company Shift All does restock the Hari Tor trackers. However, as of making this video, they are currently out of stock. I would highly recommend following their Twitter and turning notifications on to keep track of when they'll restock. Uh, but despite this, they've handled orders pretty well. And for a product that's actually delivering so far, <laughs> uh, I can't really complain. I can't say much for people outside of Japan and the United States though, as those are the only two countries Shift All is shipping to so far. I tried to put one of my friends on, but they live in Canada, which I feel like should be a major country. You would also include for shipments. Uh, but hopefully soon they'll add them into the pile as well as UK and other major countries. Now let's talk about the pricing. Spoiler, it's actually really good. With shipping, it's 290 US dollars, which is $10 less than three Vive trackers. That $10 that was saved went towards a singular Bluetooth dongle for my PC since it didn't come with one. And then you have to remember that Vive trackers also need base stations. And if you didn't already have those since you got a Quest 2, that's an extra $300. So overall, I saved about $390 on my full body setup with Hari Tor X and a Quest 2. I'm also completely wireless and I can fully move around. If I ever get daring, I can just turn off my guardian and then just walk around the room. But knowing that I throw randomly stuff around the place, I'm going to hit something and bust my ass. I swear to lot. Oh, yeah. shit, I'm so tired. Yeah. Yo! Yo! We can see from my tail. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this is the closest I've been to a woman in my life. Oh my god! It's crazy because I'm not a woman. Can we get a jerk me? Fuck! But yeah, that's the Hari Tora X. I highly recommend it, especially for people that have a Quest 2. It's pretty easy to set up and it just kind of works. I would like to give a special thanks to Bacor for helping me get one. This video couldn't have existed without him, and for that, I am extremely grateful. Again, go check out his channel. His link will be in the description. Please send him all the love. Like, seriously, he's he's really cool. He's actually really funny. And uh, he, he got me into staying into VR and actually wanting to have full body in the first place. So yeah, go give him a lot of love. I, I, I love that guy. No, please, please, I, I have no energy. I have... Yo! Yo, shit! I thought we whiffed it. <laughs> so not ready, Snow Rider's gonna join me? No, please, no! <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it from me. Usually YouTubers go do that whole drop a like, subscribe, blah blah, whatever the fuck. Uh, do whatever you want, I, I don't really care. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, y'all. You owe me. Bro, the way he Money. Said it, How much? I'm fucking sweating, bro. 150. So, I'm fucking oh, sweating, bro. Okay. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's 50 okay. cent for today. Yeah. I'm obeying the rest of You said 50 cent? 50 cent. Yeah, but that's yeah, I'm gonna do you like 50 cent if you don't give me the money right now. Whoa, 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 whoa.